hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to master your song using just one plugin one stock effect plugin and the simple plugin that we'll be using is maximus let me just play the track you listen Akuna. Akuna matata. Ah. mama don't you cry no more Cause if you cry, I might just give up. Mama, don't you cry no more. It's a full project with the vocal and everything. So, uh, actually, if you want to master your song like this on a full project, which you already have everything like this, you can master it here. But now the issue with mastering it here is uh, it may drag your system because all of these uh, instruments, a lot of plugins, effects that you have added to your project, they cause your system to lack if you want to master it here. So when you want to master, either you can master it with the full project or you just export the WAV format, then import it, then you master. Okay, in this case, as you can see, I can even master here because we want to use just one plugin. But to ease our system, we are going to just export it, then we master it. So to export it, you need to export it on WAV format. And when you are done exporting it, you can just import it to a new session. Okay. First of all, keep the tempo information. Our tempo information here is 100. So we'll open a new instance of FL. Okay. Now this is a new instance of FL that will just go here and just type the tempo information so our tempo is 100 bpm then i'll go to the track now i import it okay so here is the project and we are on that same bpm why did i just put this bpm so the information will stay the same when i'm done exporting it okay what i'll do first i'll take out this limiter yeah i don't need it so let's load the maximus mastering is just uh, a process in which you add some polish to your mix and also get the song to sound way loud to commercial level okay let's listen to the project then we start apply our mastering process using maximus ah, ah. mama don't you cry no more mama don't you cry no more. Each time I want to master your song, loop the region of chorus or loop the loudest section of your song. Let's begin mastering, okay? Just load your maximus at default. Uh -uh. Mama, don't you cry no more. Okay, if we look at our ceiling here, we are good, okay? We have headroom. Let's uh -uh. see. Mama. You cry no more. We are hitting 3 dB here, not that much headroom, but uh, in any case, we will still master. When I'm mixing, I always go for 6 dB, but 3 dB is also okay. Let's utilize maximums. First thing, we'll go to the ban and try to separate it. Actually, the frequency response here is uh, we have the low, mid, and the highs. So let's hit this icon here. Uh -huh. So let's see the focus. Mama, don't you cry no more. To begin the separation, just uh, solo it like this so that you can hear the band separately. Let's go to the lows. We'll put our load, load to around 150. Then we'll go to our mid. We we'll have to separate it so we shouldn't hear much highs. Mama, don't you cry no more. Cause if you cry with the highs, we will not do anything because we have already separated it. So let's listen. We have separated our our bands. Mama, put this back on here. Then we'll compress the bands separately to give it more control. We'll go to the lows. Let's compress it a bit. 
let's go to this feather and drag it down as you see some compression happening Nothing is happening now. Let's drag it down. Too much. Have a brick wall. Okay, let's go to the meat. Mama. Let's compress it. Don't you cry no more. Cause if you cry, I might just give up. Compression is happening now. Mama. Don't you cry. We go to the eyes. Just compress to obtain some control. So we'll go to the master. Let's see if we compress the master. Mama. Don't you cry. So we'll not compress the master because we don't want to squeeze things out. So what we'll do next is we level out the frequency. So we'll go to the lows, we'll bring down this pre, go to the mid, we'll bring down the pre. Okay. So if I mess up with it, you will not hear anything. So I'll go to the low now. So let me put bring it up to the position I want. I want to level the bands. If you are a bass head, love bass, you can boost it somewhere there. Okay, now we'll just add the mid. We'll remove it on solo. We'll go to the mid. We'll bring the mid up. To we'll blend it. To the eyes, go to the eyes and add the eyes. Mama, don't you cry no more. Eleven things now, so let's go. Mama, don't you cry no more. Cause if you cry, I might just give up. Mama, don't you cry no more. Cause if you cry, so I'm leveling the frequency as you can see to get the balance between the lows, mid, and the highs. Mama, okay, when you are done leveling, just go to the master. Let's continue. Mama. Okay, we are still sounding great and not hitting the ceiling. Next thing we do is to go to the se stereo separation. The lows are uh, in some case I would like to put it on mono, but I I want to leave it at the center. For the mid, I will put it on stereo separation, maybe 20. Because uh, the instruments are already panned, so I don't think I need any form of zero stereo separation. Okay. The next thing I can go to the eyes and put it maybe on 30. Let's listen. Uh -huh. Mama, don't you cry no more. Cause if you cry, I might just give up. Okay, let's just test before and after. Mama, Mama, you can go here. Put the ceiling here around negative one 
so you shouldn't clip then if you want to add saturation you can add it if you want to do low cut you can also do it let's uh, go back to this band and cut out some lows a little bit just little so we'll have headroom to obtain a loudness so let's listen uh -huh. Mama, don't you cry no more. Cause if you cry. So the next thing we do now is to go for the loudness. So go to our master here. We boost the post now to obtain the loudness that we want. So let's boost it. What I normally do is I just boost it until I start to hear distortion. Then I back it. I back it down. Mama, don't you cry no more. Cause if you cry, I might just give up. Mama, don't you cry no more. Let me add a little saturation and listen. Mama, don't you cry no more. Nope. Mama, don't you cry no more. Okay, let's add some saturation again and listen. Mama. Don't you cry no more Cause if you cry I think I love it with this saturation So let's let's allow this little amount of saturation Mama Don't you cry no more Cause if you with this loudness, let's look for any loudness meta to see a level of loudness that we are. So I'll use this wave on to just measure. But know that this uh, loudness meta is just to know how loud your track is. It doesn't really add anything. Okay, let's listen. Mama, don't you cry no more. So just observe your short term LUFS. The lower the number, the louder your track. When you are on, let's say from 10, you are loud enough. So let's watch. But if you go right up to 7 LUFS, it will be really loud song. So let's listen. Mama, don't you cry no more. Cause if you cry. So we observe we are between 10 and 9. Okay, for one more loudness, we can just push it up a little bit. So let's push the post again. Mama, don't you cry no more. It. Cause if you cry, I might just give up. Let's compare before. Mama, don't you cry no more. Cause if you cry, and after, Mama, don't you cry no more. Cause if you cry. I just give up. That's how you can master your song using just Maximus. Okay, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell. So whenever I upload, you are not going to miss any of my videos. See you in the next tutorial, guys.